Hello again. I hope everyone enjoyed their break. I apologize uh, again for the informality of the setting. Um, a little peek behind the curtain, but um, in this small Nebraskan town, when I can't get into my office, um, this coffee shop is really the only place where the wireless is good enough for me to record and upload videos. So we've seen identities, and now we're going to see more identities in this and the next section. So I'll introduce the double angle formulas. And the double angle formulas are so called because they involve taking a trig function of twice an angle. So one of them is for the sine of two times theta. And the sine of two times theta is twice the sine of theta times the cosine of theta. I'm not going to make you memorize any identities other than the Pythagorean identity. I will say this is a pretty famous identity. I mean, this is an identity that might be worth remembering. Um, the other double angle formulas, there are two more, one for the cosine and one for the tangent. And I'm going to go not in the order you would probably predict, I'm going to give the formula for the tangent next. It's twice the tangent divided by one minus the tangent squared. And the reason I saved the cosine, you probably expected that the cosine would come next, but the cosine is a little different because the cosine identity is really several identities. It's really three identities. So the cosine of two theta equals the cosine squared minus the sine squared. Be careful not to mix this up with the Pythagorean identity, where we have the cosine squared plus the sine squared. But the cosine of 2 theta is also equal to one minus twice the sine squared of theta. And the cosine of two theta is also two times the cosine squared of theta minus one. And we don't really talk in this class about where identities come from, for the most part. We just sort of accept that they're true. Um, but to comment a little on that, this is kind of the main identity. The cosine of two theta is the cosine squared minus the sine squared. 
And if you then take the Pythagorean identity and you solve for the sine squared, And you take this and you plug it in, you get, um, let's see, you get this, twice the cosine squared minus one. Or if instead of solving for the sine squared, you solve for the cosine squared, and you take this and you plug it in, you wind up getting that equality. Yeah. So this is the reason why the cosine of two theta has multiple identities associated with it. Um, we have this sort of main identity, and then we have identities that we can get by plugging stuff in to the main identity. Yeah.